I am going to show you the do's and don'ts for electrical safety and hazard. Electricity is an everyday commodity in most urban lives, but we seldom realize the damage it could do if basic safety guidelines are followed, aren't followed. There are some do's and don'ts I'm going to show you, but for now I'm going to show you the equipment you need for your home electricity. You need the rubber gloves. Since we don't have rubber gloves, for my video, I'm going to use these surgical gloves because this is the only available in our house. Screwdrivers, flares, wires, and tape. For your safety, you also need a hat if you're going to do some electrical outside the house and the goggles. In those, this is a good stuff. A simple rules that could save a life one day. Electrical safety isn't laborious. It's usually just doing a bit more careful or replacing a bad habit with a safer one. When unplugging, hold the plastic covering of the plug, not the cord. The later could damage it and it create an electric um, electrical hazard like this one. Hold it here. Not on the cord. Second, teach your children about the damage of electricity and to stay away from outside and bare wires. Curiosity could lead an injury if the left unsupervised. No, Ali, no, you're not allowed to plug. No, 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 no. Okay. Third, use cord covers or plastic wire clips to tuck loosen cord against skirting, skirting boards to prevent accident like tripping or children or animal chewing them. When checking your home or potential new home, touch the panel around outlets and switches. If they are warm or hot, there is an electrical issue that needs solving. Note, dimmer switches are usually warm, but hot switches are abnormal. Furthermore, most of us have some of these bad electrical habits that put our homes in danger. First, plugging too many things into an extension cord or outlet. This is the quickest and easiest way of creating fire hazard. Adapter, adapters come with a limited number of plug points for a reason. Second, running cords underneath carpets will result in worn, broken insulation, Leaving your home unprotected from live wires, potentially causing fires or shocks. Next, only plugs go into electrical socket, nothing else. Not to satisfy an abusive cleaning appetite, not for children to explore, nothing. <laughs> if any of the appliance spark, smoke, or shock when you attempt to use them, something is wrong. It is needed to be repaired. A wire has come loosen or something either issue may occur and require attention. And that is the do's and don'ts for the safety hazard. Thank you.